So, after traveling for over a year all around Southeast Asia, we are now going to give you all the essential tips and tricks on what to pack. And plus some added extra bonus tips, you know, the secret stuff at the end of the video. So yeah, make sure to stay. All right, let's go outside and unpack. We basically travel with two backpacks. Yeah. The main one, like a big one, and then our electronic bags. So let's go in. Take it outside. <laughs> Oh my god! These are our bags. I think mine is a uh, 52 liter one. And I think it extends to, I don't know, like uh, 58, maybe 60. Yeah. And I have like a 42 uh, saliva that can extend to 5 liters more. I don't think there's a specific reason why I chose this backpack. I just love it because it's uh, Phil Raven, you know, kind of bougie. <laughs> but I think it's been holding on pretty well, except for this scratch right here. But that's because in the airport, sometimes they just throw your back and they don't care about it, so. Yeah, so actually I do like mine a lot, but since we've been traveling for so long and people have not been treating it very well, it was like teared up here a little bit. And also the orange part just gets dirty. Which like afterwards I would get I guess I would pick a different one that doesn't look already filthy. So yeah, I like that about yours better. You can't see that it's filthy. <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, Colors does matter. <laughs> yeah, even though I love it, but also here you can see the strings filthy. But yeah, I guess for backpacks just pick whatever is more comfortable. If you like to pack so much stuff, like this backpack weighs about 17. Yeah. Kilos and a half. Mine is usually around 14, 15. Yeah. Actually, when we were traveling, a lot of people had like over 60 liter backpacks. We actually had smaller backpacks compared yeah. to a lot of people out there. But I think I would get go even smaller next time. Like I packed too much this time, so I would definitely be possible with less. So. Yeah, we definitely want to try like the suitcase travel yeah. thing. So, we'll so yeah, okay, but let's let's start. Open and this up. Let's start with yours. <laughs> okay. So, we laid out all of our clothes. Yeah. We actually carry them in this packing cubes. Packing cold, cubes. Yeah. I was actually not the kind of person who would use ever this kind of thing. I would just like to throw all of my clothes in my backpack and just like deal with it, but then I had a hard time knowing which ones were dirty and clean ones. Yeah. Same. So I went to the backpacking trip and I was just all the time, everything was in there. And every single time I had to pick up everything and it was so annoying. So then I found those packing cubes and I actually love them so much because they have like two sides. They have like a back side for the dirty clothes and the front side for the clean clothes so they never touch. And also like this compression department so you can fit even more. So I truly love that. Oh yeah. And the ones for pants, they even have a waterproof one. So if you have ever like um, don't they have that for shot. don't they have that for everyone? No, just the big one. Really, just yeah. the pen ones? Just the one for pants, so you can put the swim shorts. Uh, for me, I put really? the pants. You can put anything, but I thought they had it in everyone. No, only the biggest one. Oh my god, it's right. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Wow, one year with it, I never realized it was only one of them. Yeah, only one. So but yeah, I usually have one. Well, my pants, t-shirts, underwear shirts and i have one for an extra shoes yeah same i oh i have the same ones except i also have one for long uh, shirts that i wear on top of any clothes for sun protection and then i have one with my swimwear and dresses but yeah and i then, of course we have the towel oh these are so helpful especially you should definitely get the ones that are like I don't know how do you call this like um this one is microfiber but i think we would probably like more the cotton ones super thin cotton That's oh, the i don't know about those we, we had a friend that he was actually traveling with the actual, actual towel, towel the, the thick yeah. one. Oh a my god one. it would take so much space yeah. so that's why these ones are helpful even though in a lot of hostels you can always like uh usually you get the towel you yeah, get a towel only... or you can you can rent or you can pay a deposit mm -hmm. and they give you the money back but it's nice to have it for the beach day yes or it's always always really good to have those things the only thing that is not the best about them is that they don't absorb the water too quickly that's why the cotton yeah. one should be better but we still have to try that out for shoes i like to have 
one that is for hiking. My normal shoes. I like the Air Force, not this ones, but I like the white ones because there's leather and because it rains a lot, it protects a little bit for the yeah. rain. And one more thing. Oh, where's my other flip-flop? I lost it. <laughs> well, I lost you it. Get it. There you go. I literally go nowhere without my flip-flops. They literally are my, they're my everything. I literally use them for everything. Yeah. Doesn't matter where I go, I have them. And they're always cheap in any of those countries. So Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia, they all have them. They're all very cheap. So super, super useful. Yeah. You don't need to buy this kind of thing before you come to those countries. You can just get them there. It's much cheaper. And I actually have only like those shoes that I'm wearing. They're just super comfortable and I wear them yeah, on a daily basis. And then when we go outside for a hike or something, these have a little bit more grip, my sandals. And then I also have the flip-flops for you know, bathrooms and stuff like that. But I don't have waterproof shoes, which would have been nice, but yeah, I was just walking with those. It was fine. And they actually have a really, really good grip. So I was very happy about those. Let's see, I have one, two, three, four, so five, total, six. I had three pairs of shoes, or like two shoes and one sandals. Yeah. Then next up are our shirts. I think I have eight or nine t-shirts. I also have eight. Yeah. I have eight t-shirts and let's check. I think I have three, one, two, three, yeah. I have three of those long, long um, long sleeve shirts and I just put them on above like everything to protect me from the sun. It's really nice. Yeah, because sometimes like using sunscreen is just like annoying. annoying. Yeah. So having those, having this summer type shirts, it's good. And so I have like two of these, they're very thin and long. It's just if you don't if you don't like wearing sunscreen, yeah. they're just much much better. That's true, and also for girls, like it was, I really I felt very comfortable with them in going around Malaysia and Indonesia because you you would probably prefer to dress a little bit more modest. So I was always wearing those. I definitely don't recommend having too much polyester clothing because they just stink bad. Yeah, like most of my clothes is cotton. Yeah. And cotton and viscose or rayon. Also, maybe I think I'm lucky because I feel like I don't stink too much even when I sweat. So all of my clothes, I wear them, I sweat them all day and then I get home, I hang them. And they still don't stink. And yeah. then the next day, I mean, I, I air them a little bit and then after that they don't stink anymore. So I'm just like... I'm unfortunately opposite. Everything I wear stinks within five minutes. It literally works for me <laughs> so well. But definitely cotton is good. Yeah, I have cotton, I have linen, I have rayon, and they're all really good. And I have one one workout shirt or for hikes, a polyester one. It's just it just feels better when yeah. you're actually sweating a lot and it's very wet. Then it's really nice. Yeah, at least one pair of polyester for sports and yeah. stuff like this probably this good. This one has to be washed much more often. But yeah. Yeah. That's this, and I always put my. Dirty ones in the back side and the clean ones in the front. Yeah, I don't do that. <laughs> I have all my bags, all, all my packs just on the bottom of my backpack. And every time I use something, because I know I'm not gonna wash it, I still wanna use it. Mm -hmm. I just pack them on the top of my backpack and just have everything in stock that I still use. It's not dirty, <laughs> but it's not dirty enough to wash it just yet. It's so everything, clean. everything goes on the top of the backpack. Yeah. Underwear. underwear. I have my underwear. You probably have like 200,000 <laughs> underwear. No, no, no. I think I have like 21 undies. And yeah, pretty much 21 undies. And I think 10 socks, 10 pairs of socks. Yeah. I have only four. <laughs> Four socks. Four underwears. And I think I only use two of them. I know, disgusting. Hey, I mean, I like sometimes not using underwear. He loves going commando all the time. I mean, the shorts that I use, they're from H&M. They're these ones right here. 
and they're pure cotton and for some reason when I sweat them they don't stink that's why I said I like cotton over polyester for just normal activities either that or I'm just blessed with good smell I guess you can, I guess you can say and I think I have like I think I have two pairs of socks but that's only because I only wear flip-flops almost all the time. I have my socks here. That's, that's basically it. Yeah. Now we have pants. Oh! <laughs> I think I only have two... Well, I have three pants. But two of my pants are these ones that I got from Uniqlo. And surprisingly they're polyester and they're very comfortable it's a little stretchable and it doesn't make me sweat it's really comfortable mm -hmm. and they're pretty light they're good for summer they work well and of course i have one more pair that is basically for any other activity outdoor just hiking and stuff like that true so yeah i actually have six pants Jeez. one hiking pants and yeah one shorts that i use i don't know for sleeping or sometimes for workout but yeah and i think it i could even all my pants are long because yeah as i said before like i like the sun protection and usually they're also very wide and comfy so that's very important actually uh, yeah is that your phone linging yeah my phone is linging Sorry about that. Yeah? Yes? Two thousand years later. Sorry about that. Sorry, sorry. And of course, we're gonna write down in the description down below, or I think now YouTube puts it on the left right side. I don't know. I don't know what they did. But yeah, we're gonna make the list of everything that you should bring, what to avoid. I would never bring jeans, although I did bring jeans at the beginning of the trip and then I had to send it back because I never wore it because it was too hot. It is really, really hot all of these countries, it's okay? True. So it's and beaches, islands. So. That's a good uh, buzzword because now it's about our swimwear. Oh. So actually, because I like staying in the water forever, I bought myself like one of those reef shirts with long sleeve and I was wearing some sports leggings also so I can stay in the water for a very very long time. Don't have to be worried about getting um, sunburned, don't have to worry about getting stung by jellyfish or getting stung by a jellyfish or anything like that so it also works as a rash guard. Uh, it was very useful for me. So I also didn't have to put sunscreen that damages the corals. True. So I really loved it. Yeah, this is my only swim shore. And yeah, like she said, I got this when we were in Coron City yeah. in the Philippines. It's, I don't know, how, how do you call this? It's kind of like a legging, legging yeah. right? I mean, I put shorts on top of it, but... Otherwise it looks a little bit... Yeah, so we, we did like a kayak trip in, kayak, around yeah. Coron and you know you're in the kayak you're in the water so I have to put my swim shorts but I don't even want to put sunscreen because I don't want to get my legs completely burned so I wear that and that lifesaver and Absolutely. It's, it's super small super compact it's so it fits everywhere mm -hmm. and it costs nothing <laughs> so either you buy it at home or find it on your trip yeah as I said I just used my sports leggings it's your choice it was nice and then I only have one more dress you probably know this one from the other <laughs> videos. <laughs> oh, Philippines, so, yeah. Taiwan. This video. And then I have um, one um, bathing suit. So that's pretty much it. There's one thing I, I wanted to get, and that is a long sleeve for swimming. So I'm guessing any type of 100% polyester long sleeve t-shirt would do just fine. But that is because once again, I don't like wearing sunscreen when I go scuba diving, but they don't look too good in pictures, so... He means snorkeling because he has never been scuba diving. Okay, true. Snorkeling. <laughs> and yeah, I think that's, that's... my towel. And, and I that's, think that's really it. I uh, know, we have a hoodies. Oh, true. You have your hoodie. 
and yep. I have my hoodie. And we literally, yep. we literally have the same one. We have matching hoodies. Yeah. So hoodie is very important. At least just have one yeah. because you never know when it's going to get cold and that's true we used it on a hiking or i used it in hiking in mount Tumbing, so on the volcano on top there i needed my um thing but if you don't have it usually when you do those activities if you want to do once in a while one they usually rent it so you can rent it for a few bucks so that would be an option if you don't want to carry it all the time if you don't need it all the time and a rain jacket if you don't want to get wet you know just have a rain jacket is very important and one of the things i actually did when it was too rainy and i didn't want to get my top wet i put on my my swim short put on my jacket go in flip-flops and we literally are riding our moppets and through hard rain and i'm just like perfectly comfortable because <laughs> swim shorts get wet but this part i remain warm yeah. and cool so because you're gonna do a lot of motorcycle rides all around southeast asia and you know, wind jacket, rain jacket, so you don't get cold. Yeah. I think for the driver, it's really necessary. Absolutely must. Yeah, since only one of us was driving, um, yeah. I was like fine just with a, with no jacket, honestly. I never wore a jacket until we went to Vietnam, into the mountains where it was really cold. It was like five degrees or something. There I got a rain jacket or like a, it's actually just a wind jacket. But other than that, I really did not use one the whole year because it's warm anyway and I don't mind the rain, so. All right, let's okay. see what else we have in our big backpack. So let's a few more things. First, let's get rid of this stuff here. Okay, let me do it. All right, now this is everything that is left in our big backpacks. This to me, I mean, I use a lot of those uh, floss, picks whatever you call it so i think this is really good in my opinion yeah. what else i have oh medikit the one thing we use the most is probably band-aids and um if you can find like um alcohol to clean wounds that's oh, it yeah. could be very important because that's you cool. never know when something's gonna happen you're in a lot of mopeds like motorbikes and in a lot of countries like Vietnam, you just, there's no rules. So you could fall, you could get, no, anything, could happen. Ha anything could happen. So it's always good. Last time something happened, we didn't have it. So we went to go buy it. Yeah. And we got like those kind of Q-tips. They have a little bit of alcohol inside. So just to uh, disinfect the wounds. So that was pretty nice. Yeah, definitely and Medicaid is very, very important, especially if you like going also hiking a lot. You should have definitely. But I would say have those things that are most important that are like that you need for a very acute things or very immediate help because you cannot have every single medication. With no, you. yeah, you yeah. Can just, just go just, buy just, it. Just, just get the yeah. most basic band-aids, plenty of band-aids, yeah, so plenty of band-aids. And actually, you can buy it at every 7-Eleven. They have band-aids and stuff, so we will have plenty of stuff. Yep. Yeah. Here, I just have like water handles for underwater stuff, like for your GoPro and stuff. That's what I keep here. What else I have here? Oh, I have like a hair trimmer machine or whatever. It's really, it's really good. If you don't have any bone, I am lucky to have recruit, her. So. <laughs> recruit your spouse. <laughs> yeah, she cuts my hair so it makes everything much easier. Mm. Other than that, I just have to, a bunch of cable, wire stuff. I have this thing that I don't know if I should have brought or not. It's literally like a, it's literally like a military paramedic grade titanium scissor. And it's super cool. Like it cuts everything. Unlike your normal scissor that also cuts everything. This is just cool and it has this thing where um well of course it's foldable you can break glasses you know in case you need to like escape break glass or something <laughs> and then this thing right here to like rip close it's, everything is pointless but i mean look it's cool okay maybe he I, has not used it once maybe i won't bring it next time so i guess this is something that you shouldn't bring after that i think i have more just GoPro stuff that I couldn't fit on my back, just cables, wires, anything you can use 
Yeah, Stuff more like to that, that when we come to the electronics. But now my backpack still had some... Okay, let's start with the basics. So some sunscreen for the face, because I did not cover my face. And then also some after sun for the, yeah, for the whole body, wherever you need it. Then actually the absolutely only cosmetics that I had was one lip lip gloss. It was not gloss, it was like a lip balm, but it's sparkly pink, the one I'm wearing right now. And then one concealer for like pimples or some blemishes that you want to cover. So those were the only things that I had and it was perfectly fine for me, but I never do full makeup anyway. Yeah, then I also had like a small dry shampoo. It's like nice to have to prolong your hair wash. Then I had, of course, some oral packs for some hostels where people were so annoyingly snoring. So they were a lifesaver. Never bring this. <laughs> Never bring this. Well, this, this has a story to it. So we Never wanted to send this. stuff uh, back home uh, because we had too much. And then I didn't want to throw it away. So I just carried it since um, July. Yeah, since July. Now we have. June. So it was almost a year. I never ever used it, but also it was. I didn't see why I should throw it. So. Oh well. Then what else is here? We have a massage <laughs> tool because, like, we both love massage, and it's actually just much easier for the person who is massaging. So yeah, it's absolutely not essential, but it was nice to have for us, and it's not very heavy. Then we have super glue. We used it quite a lot. Kevin broke some things along yeah. the way. So that was really nice. Then we brought a sewing kit. We never used it. It's like super tiny. Tissues, yeah. just stuff. Yeah, this is actually it's like some hand sanitizer, a poop bag and stuff. If you have something in very, um, what's it say? If you have to go very urgently, mm -hmm. this is like the bag you grab and has everything you need. And then I also brought a, uh, um, I also brought an air mattress. It's like not essential. I maybe used it twice. I even had like a small back uh, sleeping bag, but I sent it back after two months because I was never using it. So yeah, it's too hot anyway. So this was this. Then I had a, have a small hairbrush, hmm. um, some more sunscreen, reef safe. Always make sure it's reef safe. Then of course like a toothbrush and stuff. And yeah, I always have spare bags. I like having them just in case I need to carry something else. Then I have my own goggles and snorkel. That was really useful in Indonesia and Philippines. It was very nice. And then I use this toothbrush to clean stuff. <laughs> this is not my toothbrush. And then the last but not least, this is something I bought along the way. It's like a travel, um, travel kit for uh, watercolor so that I can just paint on the go and I love it and it's so tiny and so small and really doesn't add anything girl so. stuff <laughs> I loved it now I guess we can actually do electrical backs <laughs> all right oh, it's even heavier than my big one <laughs> yep it's time for electronic backs because we love making videos and pictures and social media and all this stuff we carry so much electronic equipment yeah. cameras drones gopro it's a 360 everything we only have one tripod thank god yeah. thank god for that one big one but you have a small tripod yes too. later that water bottle i lost mine on the <laughs> way home <laughs> so in the airport of munich which is the last airport yeah now we're in Austria, of course, to finish the trip. And I on the my last beloved water bottle, yeah, it was really literally so the same, the same another Nalgene, just like a bluish yeah. water -ish color. But yeah, I mean let's see. What have what do we have inside? Actually one of the things I love about this backpack is the fact that it's like a, it's like a roll top, so you can open from here, get a bunch of stuff, and then you open from this side and that's where you keep your electronics and then this one kind of is combined with the roll top you know so you can separate two things and that's what i love about this one I usually carry my laptop here but it's right now upstairs yeah i have here my laptop in an extra packing cube it fits perfectly it does the job 
you know, just batteries, chargers. I fly a like an FPP drone, so I have controller, goggles, just. Mm. I also have my drone. I have like drone, controller, and the spare batteries. GoPros, Insta 360s. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like if you're solo, I feel like this drone, like a DJI, is probably the best choice. Yeah. Because. It's really nice. It's super handy. Super it's small. It's quiet. It's small. Yeah. Doesn't. It's really nice. Regulations are not that bad. <laughs> yeah, some have more, some less. Like in Thailand, you needed to apply for like a yeah, the proper license and stuff, so registration and license. In Malaysia, I think you can fly, no problem. But it's always you know, be cautious, respect the rules, don't do anything crazy or stupid. Yeah. Fly safe. They're not gonna bother you, so it's all you have to do. Tripods. I like to have in like an extra pouch just in case I want to carry stuff out just for extra glasses. I don't know. Yeah. What else you have? I also have my big camera. It's just too heavy. Like I will never ever bring it again. It takes amazing pictures, but it's just too freaking heavy. Yeah. Then I have the charger for that. Then I have a bunch of extra like. Um, let not for the it's like then i have a bunch of extra um, filters and some drone spare parts like some extra propellers then i have like a for the tripod a phone um, holder that's really useful and then my um SS, ssd card mm -hmm. oh yeah ssd i have a nintendo switch <laughs> i wouldn't say you need it but i also can say you don't need it <laughs> So this is in between a must have and a must not have. Yeah. Sorry, I love playing, so it and is what it is. <laughs> oh, I also forgot to mention, I have like four hats. This one and then three more because I just love hats. He's I, obsessed with I hats. wear hats almost all the time, so. And then I also have like a very big uh, power bank. It's like... 45 watts, I don't know, 2600, so oh, it's pretty big. Yep. We use it quite a lot, but yeah, not every day, of course. It's always but good it's to have it. Really good it's to definitely, have. definitely good to have it. And yeah, that's about it. Yeah. If that's you, if anybody wants us to do like a more detail or all of our gear and things that we use to make our videos and stuff like that, then just We'll Type make it one. in the comments. We'll make yeah. one. Oh yeah. No, and then yeah, just cables, stuff like that. SD cars? No, I don't, it's not called SD cars. It's called like the SSD. SSDs, you know, just for storage stuff like that. But yeah, that's pretty much about it. Oh, I have. Where is it? Where is this guy? I always like carrying a pouch just because here I carry all of my passport wallet any important things so i always have it with me yeah and so, he also carries my stuff so yeah that's why he's the only one and actually now it's time for the bonus extra tips that everybody should have yeah i hope so you can learn something here let's see all right now for the final part i mean a few things that she already mentioned that are the essential is of course the power bank is of course something that i believe everybody should have because you never know when you're gonna need the other thing she mentioned is the goggles the reason why i believe that having your own goggles oh, snorkeling is mask. snorkeling yeah. mask is very important it's because sometimes when you rent they don't fit you properly and they're never properly clean because you know you need to have a good way of maintaining it so that it doesn't fog and sometimes that kills the whole experience there's so many times where i rented a goggle either water went inside or just it kept kept fogging everything so i did not enjoy my experience because in all southeast asia you're gonna go to so many boat tours and there's beautiful coral reefs and you want to have the best experience when you're underwater so this to me if you like snorkeling, snorkeling then this is something that you should have yeah and speaking of which Besides this, 
Wait a second. Right here, this right here. It's called the anti-fog kit. And you just like apply a little bit in a rack, put it in there. So this too, definitely. Now the last thing that she already mentioned is the uh, air, pad? Yeah, the the air, air mattress. mattress yeah. I have a huge one, like <laughs> literally a huge one. I feel like if you do a lot of uh, couch surfing yeah. and sometimes you may not have a bed, this is such a good, good thing to have because it's, it's your own comfort, right? Like you literally make your own bed yeah, it's and really then nice. you can sleep wherever you want. We always stay in hostels and just hotels. So. Yeah, so we didn't really need it on this trip, but... But I feel like definitely. for some people, I think this is very, very, very important to have. You don't need a bigger one like mine. You can have like a small one like she showed. Mine only goes to the knees. So the feet are like without a mat. Mine is a full on bed. <laughs> and we actually used it one time in one of the airports because we had to uh, stay yeah, longer. And literally everybody was watching her because I uh, she had the, the full I bed. The bed she and had then the pillow. I also have she, the pillow, which is she, the next one, yeah. Oh. It's just so comfortable. When we always, when we take public transport, I loved sleeping there. And just the pillow is such a game changer for me. I use it on every single trip, maybe the boat, the airplane, the bus, everywhere. I use it and it's so small, so compact and yeah, super quickly blown up. So I love it. That's my bonus. Tip. We're definitely going to try to put the description for All those most, things, mo yeah. most of these items. The next thing is if you care about your backpack, if you love your backpack the way I do, then or you don't want to lose your stuff like I do, <laughs> you can use these um, bags for your backpack, basically like a travel bag. It's it literally protects because sometimes in the airport people just throw the backpack and sometimes the handle can get caught on something yeah. and they could break it. And it is your backpack. That's the last thing you want to do is pick up your backpack and literally a strap is missing, missing because yeah. they did not care. So you just put on your backpack in these things. Put it inside. And then it's protected. Yeah, and they can do anything. Mine already looks a little bit demolished. That's yeah. where you can see that would have happened to my backpack. Exactly. So that's really nice. And I love mine so much because it actually, you can put it on and then zip it open here and still use the, um, What's it called? The straps. Yeah. And still use the straps. So that is amazing. Yeah, mine is just like a big giant uh, potato sack. <laughs> <laughs> it's so big. After I put it on my backpack, I can still feel fit like a second stuff, one. Yeah. Stuff, <laughs> stuff, stuff, stuff. That's so funny. This, I mean, this comes with most backpacks. What is it? This is the rain cover. The rain cover. For oh, the yeah. big backpack. So, yeah. like I said, it rains. Sometimes you have to walk. 15 minutes to the train station, to the yeah. bus station, almost everywhere, and you don't want your backpack to get wet because it's, it's all of your stuff, it's yeah. all of your good stuff. So this comes in really handy. If your backpack doesn't come with one, make sure you pick one up. Yeah, most backpacks actually come with one. Mine had it at the very bottom. Yeah. So even if you think it doesn't have one, check the bottom, check the top, somewhere it might be sewn in. Yeah. And of course, another thing water related is a water bag. Dry bag. Dry bag. <laughs> because once again, it rains a lot. Yeah. You want to do a day trip or something and you um, don't want your stuff to get wet. Or when you go on a boat yes, or a kayak. Yes, exactly. These are super cool. They're, they keep all your stuff completely dry. No and water gets in. All you have to do is put your stuff, and roll it them. it can even be submerged, which is like the best part. Yeah. So You just got to be careful a little bit because sometimes they can get a yeah. poke. Mine had a hole. It still works for yeah. the most part. Yeah, because but even if even if it has like a small like a hole, when you when you submerge it, water is not gonna go in because all the air pressure in the back keeps the water yeah. from getting inside. Unless it's a complete cut, then you need a new one. Yeah. So you can either buy them in these countries. I bought this in the Philippines because the one I had in Thailand broke. Broke. Yeah. And then I was just okay. I'm just gonna get a new one. They're pretty cheap. They're less than ten bucks. Yeah, so, it's, it's yeah. pretty. It's pretty cheap. 
or you can find one at home, you know, wherever you are, maybe you can find a better quality. I've seen some that have like pockets and like you can stock your really water. Nice ones, yeah. This one is just, just, just Plain a bag. simple. There's absolutely nothing on it. Then next up that I really adore is like having my own yeah. fork and spoon and knife. Yep. Usually we use the knife for fruits or stuff to cut it. Yeah. And yep. just, a lot of times you buy food mm -hmm. at 7-Eleven because it's easier, more convenient. And sometimes they have, I don't know, boiled egg, fruit stuff. And sometimes they yeah. don't give you a fork. So having one of those things is really. Oh, yeah. And coming this, like an absolute bonus tip is <laughs> having your favorite condiment because it can make oh, those convenience food just so, so, so much better. Here I have like a sesame dressing that I use for some um, salad and stuff. I travel for eight months with my mail. It's upstairs, but literally sometimes people, if you're traveling for a very long time and you get tired of eating the same things, having things like this can literally save you because, you know, gives it flavor to the food. That's true. And then I have this thing. I think it's super cool. Like I have a few different spices. In. I have some paprika, some salt, some pepper and curry. And in those cases where you just need a little pinch of salt, it's just a lifesaver. So having something like this was really, really useful for us. Now, if you like hiking a lot, go trekking or whatever stuff like that, this is a lifesaver because this is like a, what do, you, what do you call this? Like a straw, you put filter it in, straw, filter yeah. straw, you put it in any water, takes a little bit of time, but really, really safe. You can water. drink the dirtiest water you can imagine and yep. it will come out clean. So. When we were hiking in Mount Sumbin, we actually used this. Yeah. It took forever to drink it, but this is something really, really good to keep if you love hiking and doing yeah. all these type of explorations, when water can be a little bit of a, Thing, yeah. Issue. Which brings me to the next one is this scraper because after long hikes, yes. holy smokes, you're gonna be <laughs> dirty, 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 <laughs> especially on a volcano. Like we were dirty from top to bottom, so a scraper like this can be yeah, handy. Because most people get like the, the, the big puffy, the big thing, puffy yeah. one, but we actually got this one in like Taiwan. I don't know what they're made out of. I don't know what you, what you call it. It's a plant? Yeah, it's made from a plant. It's just the inside. It's super like thin, small, nothing. It's hard. So this is perfect. So perfect for all those scraper. who don't like scrape, scrape and be clean. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's really good. What else we have? Oh, a lot of people may think like, oh, the Ziploc bags are like, there's something so insignificant. Oh my God. They're really so convenient to store anything that might leak, might spill, or yeah. just storing your trash when there's ants around. It really is so handy. Just when you don't think you're gonna need it, you will need it. <laughs> it's raining suddenly, you can put your phone in there, your money in there, like there's so many things that you can come out with with having oh, Ziploc so bags. Useful, yeah. Literally, so good. Wet wipes, I think, also so many countries, they don't, yeah, they don't always have toilet paper or what to wash your hands. So it just comes in very handy. And it's like sometimes also your stuff gets dirty or you forget maybe your little uh, candy inside your backpack and then it melts. So not that it has ever happened to me, but just saying it can really help to clean that out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, true that. <laughs> Shoo! Now, she probably will say, hell no. I think having a multi-tool is so important because as a man, I gotta fix things around the house or whatever it is that I have to do, like but clean my nails or something like that. This right here loves it so much so that it cannot be used for so anything. So it has a knife. So it's still new and <laughs> unused because you it's can, so good, you, can do... you can't use it. So that way you can look useful by having this. So that is very important. But oh boy, I think this is really good. I've used it plenty of times, yeah. like four times in one year. <laughs> and then something so like insignificant, but yeah, we need definitely mm -hmm. spark spray. Like they're everywhere in Southeast Asia and without it, you're 
probably gonna have a terrible time. Yeah, especially if you are uh, type O negative blood, <laughs> like myself. Mosquitoes, they love us, so. Oh, they love you. <laughs> usually I don't get mosquito bites, usually he always gets them, so. Yeah, I'm lucky, but still, sometimes when he's not around, I still get them. And then one more thing that I actually discovered in Cambodia for the first time, it's like, as I mentioned earlier, like my um, sweat and my odor is very strong and usually it doesn't matter if I shower, it doesn't matter if I put deodorant, I'm always a little bit stinky. But this one, it's a complete game changer. It's actually powder. And I think I accidentally grabbed the man's one. It smells a little bit masculine, but it actually really helps. And for over 24 hours, I do not smell bad at all. And you just take a little bit of powder and rub it in your armpits. Perfect. And it actually has menthol, like, yeah, men, mint or menthol, which cools. So that is very good. And then one more thing that is really useful is like having a shopping bag. Like sometimes you go shopping or buying your snacks or something Anything. and it's just they always use plastic bags so having your own just saves that extra bag. And also sometimes when we go to the airport they have some extra stuff for the carry-on yeah. for the personal item. It's just helpful and it's so small and it goes a long way. Did we mention um, earplugs? I think did you I had did. it? Yeah, I think I'm I don't have it. mine with me right now, mm -hmm. but if you stay in hostels, whoo, do going, yourself a favor. There's <laughs> going to be people who snore very loud, and you won't be okay. able to have a good night night sleep. So you have to have some earplugs. Just, just, just buy okay. cheap ones, good ones, throw them in your back. You'll forget about it, but believe me, when you find a snorer, you will remember it. And That's you will be true. like, Thank you, Kevin and Valentina, <laughs> for reminding us to bring airplugs and now we can have a good, good night's sleep. Also, one thing I want to mention here, I just got it at the last flight, is those sleeping, um, <laughs> sleeping what, mask? Mask, yeah. whatever, I don't know. The what one for your eyes and I really love it. So I now survived a year without it, but sometimes I really wish I had it. But now I actually have one and it was really, really nice. So even if it might look stupid, it's really nice to have it. This right here, because we've been to more than 10 countries around yeah. Southeast Asia, everybody has a different plug. So having this guy right here, this one has literally almost all plugs. You can have the American, this is US and Australia. You have the UK one and you have the European one. Last but not least, the Apple AirTag. We have each one and we keep them in our big backpacks. That and we, yeah, that we check in for, yeah, that we check in at the airline. And it's such a lifesaver because it hasn't happened to us. We haven't lost our luggage at all, but if it did, then this would literally be the best so thing. So helpful, yeah. I've That's, seen so many people losing their bags and yeah. they're just like going crazy. They're calling this place. They don't know if it's here or not. Or if it got delivered somewhere else. So yeah, it's really helpful to know where your bags are. And we always check every single time we arrive to the airport and we need to go to the baggage claim, we always check our bags here. And so far, they have always been here. All right, well, that was everything we had in our bags. If you guys found this video helpful, and then up. <laughs> I hope you guys loved it and maybe one thing worth mentioning is we did our laundry about every three to four weeks so that's how long we could do it yeah definitely if you guys have questions let us know in the comments <laughs> leave them whatever you want you know and we'll see you in the next one happy traveling <laughs> okay